Uh, how y'all doing? It's Jared. This is all Benchmade 53 Mangus. I'm going to start this video off by doing a little bit something different. Because normally I stand here and I kind of try to describe what it feels like when I'm actually flipping, flipping a ballet song around. I'm not going to do that with this. Just watch. Tr watch me try to actually ah, flip this thing. I'll let you know when I almost cut myself. Oops, I almost cut myself there. Ah, almost cut myself again. Rocketed around my finger. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> Check it out. Do it again. Woo! <laughs> Shit's cool. <laughs> Not too many ballet songs to do that. Woo! <laughs> like, it goes around my finger like three times before it falls. I don't even... <laughs> You know, if I was a badass, I'd stick my finger back in there and try to catch it. Make that some sort of trick, right? Ah. Let's start out a pussy way. Let's see if I can... Ah. Y2K. Here's Y2K. Ah. Another one. Y2K. Ah. I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, look. It stops. It just stops. What? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is, it is just as bad as everybody makes it out to be. I mean, there's some, there's, there's knives out there. This bare, you know, the bare bones here. This is all bare bones, or bare ops B3, B400 trainer. Bare ops gets a lot of crap, right? Talked on it. Like, oh, they're horrible. They're horrible flippers. It's the same thing with, like, some BRS bare bones, you know, because it's the bare bones, it's the budget model, so it's crap in a lot of circles, you know, not everybody thinks that, but I mean, it's, it gets a bad reputation. This thing is actually bad. There's not a whole lot of ballet songs on the market that, had, that people say are actually bad at flipping, that are actually bad at flipping. This thing just doesn't work. It doesn't work for, oh, did you see that? I'm dragging this blade. This blade is just slamming into my finger right there. It's freaking ridiculous. This thing is sharp, by the way, and so... It's just not designed for that. It is a great knife, but it was discontinued. It's been discontinued for a while. They only made it for a couple of years. It wasn't very popular even when it was made, and I honestly think there's, there is reasons for that. It's a whole lot of fun to play with, and it gives me something else to, to try to manipulate a little bit, but I'm going to take you here down here onto the table talk about this thing. This knife really isn't misunderstood, I don't think, because it doesn't have the reputation. Not every, anybody out there really talks about how shitty it is at flipping because it's an EDC knife, right? This is designed for utility. It's not really, it wasn't designed to, to be flipped or manipulated, and that's obvious in the overall design. The fact that it's got this really broad, flat, you know, full flat ground drop point blade design, it just doesn't say flipper, right? It doesn't say that that's actually what it's oriented for. And so it, it really, the end of the, I mean, the curved handles, the fact that it has this little bit of a finger guard in there, and so... It doesn't come up a lot in the flipping room, and because of that, it's kind of died off in the ballet song community. You don't really see a whole lot about the 53, and I actually, that's kind of sad for me, because I really do like this knife. And I, it, it, this knife symbolizes a lot of things for me, because I am, I'm, I have, I, I'd like to say I'm a big proponent, not necessarily, but I really like the Bally Song as utility knife, the, as a work knife, you know what I mean? Actually using these things for EDC, actually carrying them around, actually, if it's legal in your area, don't carry it if it's not legal, but I mean, you know, it, it's an excellent knife design, right? It really is good for a lot of different tasks. If, you know, if you're willing to put in, you know, the, the time and memory, you know, time and energy to actually learn how to manipulate these things, not do tricks necessarily, but just open and close, it is a little bit more difficult than other forms of knives, but it gives you so much more, and this knife is just representative of that, because this is an EDC ballet song. This thing is designed to be carried, it's designed to slice really well, it's designed to cut through material, it's really lightweight, it's easy to use, they actually have aluminum backspacers in there, you can see that kind of bead blasted aluminum backspacer, it's actually the same thing with the last 
latch here, bead blasted aluminum T latch. It's got a steel pin running through it there. It leads to a couple different, couple interesting things as far as the mechanics and the feel of this overall knife. But you can see that they were just going for lightweight. They were going for ease of use, ease of carry, especially with the just the straight up T latch. It doesn't have a spring latch or anything crazy in there. And actually the size as well, because the size is a bit. It's a bit deceptive because this knife looks bigger than it actually is. You probably think that it may be a little bit bigger than it is, but if you haven't seen it thrown up against anything else, I'll do a size comparison down here in a minute. But I really do like this knife just as far as the, the characteristics. It feels good in hand. This thing here, it's it's... It doesn't work very well for flipping. It's not that doesn't necessarily impede my style of flipping, but I don't I can't flip this thing anywhere near to where this thing would actually come into play on mul for multiple reasons for me. So that's not necessarily a problem. I actually really like it there. It gives me a little bit of a blade stop. It's not really going to work in any sort of penetrating thrust. As far as actually sliding up onto the table, you know, not sliding up onto the blade, it'll give you a little bit of protection, but it's not, you know, not a massive amount. The curvature of the handles here actually does more of that than anything else because it really does just kind of bury itself down there in your palm, any sort of penetrating thrust, any sort of really hard digging in the material you got to do it does seat itself very nicely into your hand the curvature and the actual overall design of this is very ergonomic especially for hard use if you really got to squeeze this thing and cut it hard into something i haven't actually done that this is first production on number 48 this is kind of a collector for me i'm not really going to do a whole lot of really hard work with it but i can you know i can imagine if i did it would feel good i'd be a little bit worried about deformation of the tang pins because these tang pins as you can see are actually riding straight up on g10 right and for the latch what that does for the latch is interesting because it's secure it's not moving it's sitting in that little groove right there but it's not very tight and there's cushion it's not bendy it's cushiony it's soft and it it feels very interesting to flex this down because most of the time when you squeeze a ballet song handle here's a 51 that latch it's got it's squeezing there's more pressure involved there I actually have to use some force to get these handles to come together right that's not the case with this because the g10 is just a lot more flexible than any of the other materials this feels a little bit cushy and so that latch is it's not necessarily the most secure thing but it definitely does do its job and that is it it kind of leads me to question how this G10 is going to hold up, right? Especially for this section here. Because you can see the way that they've done this. It leads to a really cool aesthetic. I like the way that the tang pin is kind of surrounded there by the G10 of the handles. You can see the way that it comb, you know, it, it kind of cups in on the back side of that tang pin. I really like the way that it looks aesthetically, but it's hitting right there on that edge. That tang pin is actually just kind of beating downward into, you know, into this G10. And so how, what's the longevity of that? How many times am I going to be able to close this knife and actually be able to use this latch with that actually not deformating? It's not necessarily the biggest problem because there is a lot of contact. You can see the size of those tank pins. It's a very large. I mean, they're tall. And so there's a lot of contact. There's a lot of surface area contact between the steel tank pin itself and the G10, which is a positive. It's going to lengthen the amount of time that that's going to take to beat into the the G10. But it, I still don't question on whether or not it's actually going to happen, whether or not that is actually going to beat into that G10, because I just know that it is. And so it's not the most longevity in overall design, but you know, it, it definitely is just a excellent knife. I really don't have any major problems with this thing if you take the flipping out of it. If you take the actual overall just manipulation of the for the sport of flipping a ballet song out of the question entirely, this thing is freaking excellent. Besides the fact that it's illegal. But that's a different story. I like the G10. The color of the G10 is actually interesting. It's this kind of greenish brown G10. It's been described as brown. It's been described as green. But it's really all just about this pivot area for me. The aesthetics, the way that this, the, 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 they milled out the G10 here, you can see that the way that they actually milled out this little bit of a crown coming around, and then the pins are reversed. The actual Torx head, you can see, is sitting on the non-show side of the knife, and it's the same thing with this hardware in the back here, and so it just gives a really nice overall aesthetic view. I think it looks really good, as well as that stone wash. I freaking love that stone wash. But this is a small knife. This thing is... I, I was kind of... 
a little bit, you know, I mean, I was like, wow, you know, I was actually a little bit surprised by that. Because when I pulled this thing out of the box, I bought it from a guy on Blade Forums, got really lucky, actually got a really good deal on this thing. But I was expecting, you know, a little bit smaller than a 51. Because you read the specs on something, and the specs just... It, it, it's hard to bring it into, you know, br really bring it into consideration. But I'll throw it up next to a 51 here, and you can just see how much smaller this thing actually is in a 51. For some reason, in my mind, it's always been in the larger class of night. Because this thing has been discontinued for a while now, but I've known about it since it came out, right? I've been watching this thing, kind of thinking, you know, I thought about buying it a few times, you know. It wasn't until it was discontinued for a couple years, and I figured that I needed it, that I actually picked one up. But for some reason, it was always in the larger class of belly song in my brain i always had it in this 51 you know the the bare bones here you know i'm in the larger class of belly song look at that i mean it freaking dwarfs it but this thing actually it's not it really is in this kind of you know the 32 the smaller range the 32 the you know the 350 from bare bones you know or bare ops excuse me I mean, it is in that smaller kind of EDC class. It's a 32 right there up next to a 51. So, I mean, it really is in that smaller class of knife, which is interesting because the 50 or the 32 here actually came out at the same time. It came out as, say, at the same time as this 53, which gives me some interesting ideas about Benchmade because they were really going for that EDC, very light, very easy to use, very comfortable ballet song they were going for the edc ballet song market right there about 2009 2010 when these knives were being designed and actually come they were coming out with these things and so that's it's it's just a kind of cool little piece of history you know what i mean benchmade's always kind of been there on the ballet song in the ballet song game and they were tempted something with this and the 32 here which now 32 got discontinued i don't know if that edc ballet song kick that they were trying to hit on actually worked Looks like that realm failed. That realm realm failed. Obviously, I can't talk right anymore. So I'm done with this. That's a Benchmade 53 Marlow. Mangus. Whatever you want to call it. It's the Eminem Ballet Song. Y'all have a good one.